Hi guys, how are you going? And welcome to Crazy Cracker Plans. So this is my very first digital plan with me. Um, so uh, please bear with me. Hopefully it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is my first time. I've just started doing digital planning as well as paper planning. I'm doing both. Um, and I decided to do a plan with me that's digital as well. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy coming along and seeing how this is created. At the moment, I'm putting down the washi um, strips, the border strips at the bottom there. Um, and just this one's annoying me trying to get it to the right size. Now, I couldn't find, I've had this one, I, I got it ages ago, this um, kit that I'm using. I got it ages ago and I can't remember who I got it from and I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, so I do have some alternative ones that I can mention that do have this kit similar on their sites. So Planning Choco, Uncommon Plans, Design Sticker Store and Glam Art Zahanna. Um, they all have a version of this um, kit available, digital kit available on their Etsy stores. And I'll have them down in the bottom as well. So if you're interested in finding this particular one, feel free to go and have a look at those ones because they have a version like this on there. Sorry about that. Um, so I've just added up over the side there the green. Uh, it's like the sparkly stuff they give you and then a little bow on top. And I'm putting a full box underneath there. Now, I'm not really sure with Plan With Me's what to sort of talk about or anything. But um, I thought I'd maybe introduce myself a little bit in this one if you're interested. And um, just sort of a little bit about what I'm planning around. Because this Plan With Me is not a memory um, one. It's not from a week before. This is the week coming. This is... Christmas week and um, I'm just decorating this ready to go for this week um, so it's not something that's been and done it's something that's upcoming now I always like to put um, my w next week my um, Monday through Sunday box on the side there and I always write next week at the top and then I always like to write then what's coming up in the next week so I have that as my guide ready to plan for the next week when I do plan it and then on my side box bar, I always have a couple of trackers, sometimes two, sometimes three. And I'm always tracking my iron because I'm really low in iron, so I need to get more in. So I'm always tracking my iron and I'm always tracking my vitamins just to make sure that I'm not getting low in anything that I might need um, and to try and work on my iron knowing that I am low in that. So I always put those things in the sidebar. I like to um, create my digital planner very similar to my paper planner um, because I just I just really like the format and how it works and how it's set out. Um, so I very much plan similar to that in this as well, <laughs> I've noticed. Um, so I'm just about to start putting down all of the um, full boxes now all along the middle there. Um, so if you didn't know, my name's Emily or Emmy um, is my nickname and um, I'm Crazy Cracker Plans and I called it that because we also have a family YouTubing channel which is called Six Crazy Crackers and that's because we have six people in our family. There's me, my husband and our four lovely children and um, they're sweet and wonderful and I always plan lots of different things to do with them. Of course, they're kids, you know, they're going to muck around, they're going to be crazy as well, but I love my family very much. Um, and yeah, so our family YouTube channel is something that we, we put a bit bits and pieces up of what we get up to. We're um, busy filming some Christmassy things that we'll be putting up there soon. Um, and that's what we sort of do on there. Um, so I do plan a little bit to do with that as well but most of the time it's just general family stuff. Um, we live out in the country so if you hear chooks or birds in the background it's just because there are lots of trees and things around. We have chooks um, here as well so a lot of them <laughs> so they can get a bit noisy. Um, so if you hear them in the background I am sorry about that. It is also spitting rain so there may be some rain coming in the background as well and if there is I do apologize. <laughs> um, we do also have two cats Nikki and Sasha. They may sometimes appear in my other plan with me's when I get them up. My paper ones because whenever I'm sitting on the bed or at the desk planning Nikki and Sasha very much like to come and get involved in that which is sometimes good sometimes not. 
So I've just put some all the full boxes along the side middle there and then another one on the side to finish that sidebar off. Um, and so I've got some different stickers, um, big ones that are in the box and then littler ones, functionals and things like that. And I will mention what stores that I got those from. Um, at the moment, I, I always put down these... Um, I call them today boxes. I always put these down in at least my Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday as well. But um, pretty much my week, main part of my week is my busiest. So that's where I will put the full boxes when um, I'm putting them down to be able to write anything extra because when I fill up the rest of the planner, I fill it up and there's no space for writing. So if anything else other than what I planned for comes up, then this is the sort of space where I would then write that in. As well as if I haven't used it by the end of the day because nothing else came up, then I do a general little spiel about how the day went as well, just as a reminder for myself. Sometimes I'll just leave it empty as well. It really, really just depends. <laughs> um, so I've been digital planning since October I think yeah um, I saw someone mention something about it and I'm like what even is that and because I had an iPad Pro and my pencil and everything I was like well let's look into that just out of interest because I do like the idea that it, it's not wasting any paper or using resources in that way um, so I am busy debating whether I'm just going to go straight digital or whether I'm going to still keep um, doing some paper planning as well. And I think like deep down, I think I know the answer because I do love digital plan, uh, not digital, I apologize, paper planning. Um, I just love the feel of the paper. I love seeing it written down. I love being able to just scribble in pen all over it and just go crazy. Plus I love real stickers, like peeling that satisfactory sticker off and then sticking it down on paper and seeing how good that looks. But I am loving the digital in that if I put it in the wrong spot it doesn't matter I can just keep wiggling that thing around until I'm satisfied with where it's at so that's pretty cool too so I think I'm always going to do a little bit of both um, but you know we'll, I'll let it keep going um, and I'm using I forgot to mention but I'm yeah I'm using an iPad Pro uh, the the second gen or something I'm not really sure um, and a second gen pencil and um, this is Good Notes 5, the, the newest, I think it's the newest, I don't know. Anyway, it's a, the Good Notes um, app. And I really love this app. I found it really simple to use. Um, and it's just, it just works really, really lovely. You can resize everything. You can write stuff. Um, I'm a messy writer. <laughs> that's, that's no, never mind. It, everything I write down is probably not going to look gorgeous because I do not have neat writing in the slightest. And no matter how many different ways I've tried to learn to write neat, I just can't seem to pick it up ever so um i try in my paper planner i'd use a lot of stickers that have like the words and things so that i don't have to write very much <laughs> in in certain parts especially like my main catch-all um but in in this one here i just write stuff down and you know if i've got words word stickers and stuff you'll see that i've used a few um later on i use and then for the rest of it, I just write it down. And if it's messy, it's messy. I figure, you know, uh, uh, it's for me. Other people can see it and it doesn't really matter. I'm doing the best that I can physically do myself. And, you know, if I was too worried about what my handwriting would look like, I wouldn't write anything down. So I definitely just think I'm going to get over it and you know, agree to disagree with the neatness of my handwriting is very messy, but it'll do. Um, I've just put down some more of that like sparkly sort of topping there just to finish off that little section and the today boxes on there. And then this is the weekend box. I'm just cropping that for the clear space just to get it out of the way and then putting that over the top of the double box down there. I really love this kit because of the Christmas movies, especially that, um, that particular one because my son is absolutely obsessed with um, the Home Alone series. He watches them 24-7 even when it's not Christmas. So <laughs> had to represent them. Now I'm just using the pen and I've changed it over. I think it's the fountain tip one. Doesn't really matter. I just changed it over to white and then scribbled out the December that was there because I had one from 
let me have a look so I don't tell you the wrong one. Um, happy downloads. That um, And it's just a December and I think it just looks prettier than the one I had. The planner that I'm using is also from Happy Downloads. So definitely jump across and check her out. It was an awesome, awesome set that I got. It was like 160 planners or something because of all the different types and stuff. And you can get the real look rings or the fake ones like what I've got there. So um, yeah, Happy Downloads is really a lovely um, shop and I've bought sticker sets from her as well as my planner and then planner covers and things as well. So definitely go and check her out. I'll put her link down below. I've just trimmed that fat washi to a thin washi and I was deciding whether it needed something above the like the Monday through Sunday section underneath it or whether to not and I've just sort of put it and decided it look better down here. I hope that rain isn't getting too loud because it's getting a bit louder here. So I apologize if it is. And if I listen back and it's too loud, I will just refilm it. If it's not too bad, I'll just leave it. <laughs> um, and now I'm just getting a full box and I'm going to be putting that in Sunday um, because that's church. Every Sunday is church. At the moment it's online. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting down um, one of the Digi Kika. Clear Girls, I think Digi Kika is how you say it. Um, it's an Etsy um, store and she has so many of those girls. <laughs> I don't know if she's the original one with them or not, but gosh, does she have heaps. So I've gotten some of those from her. And I'm putting down some more full um, half boxes on Monday through Saturday, I think I put them all down. I just love, I don't know if you can hear the rain, but I just love listening to the rain. It's so nice. Um, <laughs> it's just a beautiful sound to hear the rain drumming on the roof and sometimes I go out and dance in it just cause. <laughs> and we're putting down these boxes down here. And this is sort of how I plan. It's not the normal way. I, I've watched a lot of um, planners, both digital and paper and they go like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but for me, I'm sort of a bit more of a just an all over the place. Um, what sort of fits, what sort of works and what I know is coming up on each particular day. I've never actually done an after plan with me, like a memory keeping plan with me in that type of way. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to plan any other way <laughs> at the moment. And I've got some of these ones as well from Digi Kika. And these are just the Christmas ones. So we've got the Christmas Eve girl and then the Christmas Day girl. And I'm just putting those down on Thursday and Friday because this week, people, it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. How excited are we? Are you ready for Christmas? That's a question to ask. <laughs> Comment down below, have you planned and organized all of your Christmas yet? Or are you one of those last minute people that plan it all in the couple of days beforehand? <laughs> I've got all of our kids' Christmas presents and that ready to go. I just have to wrap them and I usually do that on a um, like Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, now this is the game night um, sticker and it was from... Oh, doodle bug drawers. I've written it down. So if I pause for a sec, it's just because I'm reading down my list because I've used a few shops here. So game night is from doodle bug drawers. And I've used that a couple of times. That's because we're planning a family games night um, on Monday night, which is actually tonight because I'm filming this last minute. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. I meant to click a sticker and it didn't work and it turned into a zip. I'm still learning digital, so I'm, I don't know what happened. Um, and this is grocery shopping. I'm putting that down. And it is from CCM Digitals. And I've got a couple of different ones from her. And this one is one of the Bandit Girls from Petticoat Bandit. And I love how they give you a few different hair colors. I think that's cool. Skin colors and hair colors with a thing. 
And then this dragon is from Vintage Planner Studios. And I have two because one's a happy one and one's a sad one on the scales. And um, I usually put sad if I gained weight or happy if I lost weight. Um, and I've just decided that I'm going to put happy in the hopes that I am going to lose weight on Wednesday. And, you know, if I didn't and I gained, then I'll change it to the sad one afterwards. But we can be hopeful, can't we? That's, that's the plan because <laughs> I'd go to Weight Watchers and that's what that's for. Then this is another one of those Bandit Girls from Petticoat Bandit um, and this is shopping because we did grocery shopping the day before but this is now for um, us to do our secret Santa shopping and our final Christmas shopping. Actually, I don't think that's secret Santa. I think that's for final Christmas shopping. I write in my stuff a little bit later so it'll make more sense when I write in my things. And yeah, apologising ahead of time, handwriting, disastrous. And then this is another one from CCM Digitals. This is Do Your Laundry. So I'm putting that in there because need to get some washing done. We did a tidy up in our bedroom over the last couple of days. And my goodness, the amount of dirty clothes I found hidden in our room. Really gross. And I was going to put this bow down, but then I realized that was the untrimmed one and I didn't want that because it was cutting off the bottom of the G. So then I swapped it to the one that I had pre-trimmed. And then we're moving on to some more things. I do a lot of like looking and skimming because I'm trying to remember um, all the different things that I need to do for that given day. So I, I'm doing cleaning up um sorting our house on Monday there to make sure it's nice and spiffy. We're finishing off the bedroom. Oh, there we go. I'm finally writing. So this is my handwriting. <laughs> Clean the bedroom. There we go. And it was exciting. Our bedroom has always only ever had a blind, but today I officially put up our curtains for the first time in, well, we've lived here for three, four years or something. And then I've written report down there just because we need to report for Centrelink um, to let them know how much we may have may or may not have earned and then getting paid on Tuesday and then our final Christmas shopping that we might have left to do is on Wednesday after we get paid. This is where I'm weighing in for Weight Watchers and it's our Weight Watchers meeting because we haven't been able to go to meetings because of COVID but for the last couple of weeks we have actually been able to go and sit in a meeting which has been really cool. Now we're moving on to the top there of Tuesday and Wednesday. Putting down some more boxes. And then I realized that I'd put, see how I've got two whites next to each other? And I was like, oh, so not cool. So then later on, you'll see me swapping them around so that the green and the white and the red are not next to each other. Um, and then how cute are these little Christmas lights? I love them. And these are from Hourglass Stickers. She has um, a gorgeous set of these Christmas lights where you get those three different types in it. So there's the, the loopy one, the twisty twirly, and then the straight one as well. And I just thought they were so cute. So they're from Hourglass Stickers because we're planning on looking at the Christmas lights um, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, weather being well, otherwise we may change it to the Wednesday, depending on what the weather's meant to be. Here's where I'm moving the boxes because I've just realized that I've put two whites next to each other and that just doesn't work for me. <laughs> Sometimes I put like all, like all Monday might be one color or Tuesday might be another. And then other times I switch them and change them um, around but it also depends on like what kit I'm using and what colors and what sort of plans come with that as to how I sort of um, plan around that. I just love those little Christmas lights they're just so cute. So I'm just moving that around and I felt it needed the third one. So that's all three of them that you get there. How cute. And there were lots of things that I didn't put down. Like I, I read um, a lot of days, but I didn't put down my reading. Sometimes I track it, sometimes I don't. Um, and yeah, there's different things that I have put down. This present is also from Hourglass Stickers. Um, and it's from her Christmas collection. 
and this is where I'm putting Secret Santa because our kids love to have, we only do like 10 bucks each, five, five to 10 dollars each, and we just go to Kmart or somewhere like that, and then we spread out and we get each other um, something. We pull our names out of a hat. If we get our name, then we have to put it back and grab a different one. Um, and yeah, the kids run around came out usually and buy someone a present and then we got to sneakily buy them and hide them and wrap them and all that sort of thing um here i'm just making a note to make sure i don't forget to buy the particular food that i need um for the cooking that i need to be doing christmas eve ready for christmas day because i'm bringing the salads for one of them and i'm making sweets and things to put in little glass jars that i've decorated um that will then go to family for presents so i've got to get all that baking done either on the um, wednesday or the thursday and then here i'm sort of remembering what thursday and friday um sort of is and picking out some more boxes to put them down. Oh yes, so I'm putting movie night because um, Christmas Eve we usually watch the Christmas carols, um, but because of COVID I'm not sure whether the Christmas carols will be happening or not in Australia um, that we normally would watch. So just in case I'm putting movie night down and we'll either watch a Christmas movie or the Christmas carols depending on um, what will be on because I'm just not sure um, what's happening because there's been so many cancellations with COVID. It's, it's just affected so many things. Um, thankfully you know we have been fairly well safe here and that's that's an awesome thing um but because of lockdowns and because of all different things it's meant that um yeah lots of things have been cancelled so i'm just not sure whether the christmas carols are still happening or not so um we'll either do a family sing along with christmas carols and matthew will play the piano or we'll do movie night or something like that if they're not on and then this is another one of the bandit girls and this is for the baking that i'll be doing baking and cooking that we'll be doing on thursday And then I'm putting another games night because um, during the day, so it's not really night, but anyway, during the day on Thursday, I've organized and planned for my kids to do a minute to win it Christmas themed day. So I've got lots of different mini activities that I'll be doing every couple of hours or every hour throughout the day on Thursday, Christmas Eve. I hope the kids will like it. <laughs> they usually get into things. We've done a lot of different Christmas activities up until now because they really like to do Christmas themed activities for pretty much all of December. <laughs> and then I'm just making a note down there, carols, if they're on, um, or movies if they're not, just so I don't forget. And then all the rest of those spaces in that box is just to write down anything extra that might pop up that I hadn't planned for. And then just putting another box in there. And then I'm going to go looking. I was trying to find, I need to go, I need to buy some more um, food related ones like meals and eating out and that sort of thing because I, I do not have very many at the moment so I need to be in search of those. If you know a shop that has some really good digital food and eating out sort of related ones, please let me know. Um, this pudding is... It's cute. It's from Square Lime Designs. And um, I put that down just to represent family lunch, like Christmas lunch, because I couldn't find very many food related things or eating out or, you know, those sorts of things. So, yeah, comment if you know any good ones that I can find. I'm just getting started, so I don't have a huge amount, you know, of stickers right now, digital, digital wise. <laughs> So the morning on Christmas Day, we always have um, the kids open their Christmas presents and then we have breakfast just relaxing at home. Um, and if there's a church service on, we would normally um, either go to a church service if it's pre-COVID or during COVID, we watch online. So we're planning on doing that. And then we're going over to Matt's mum's house. Now, this was bugging me. My, my dyslexia part of me couldn't figure out whether parents were spelt right or not. 
and I was worried it wasn't. So then I kept changing the words and feeling uncomfortable every time I wrote something. I just left it at Matt's mum's. <laughs> um, but I do that sometimes because I just don't know sometimes but yeah that that'll be Christmas lunch and then we usually end up staying there into the afternoon and have afternoon tea and stuff too sometimes even dinner depending on how long we've been there and then I've written down to call mum and wish her a Merry Christmas as well to make sure that I don't forget which I won't and then I'm writing in church and online because at the moment church is online so um, we tune in I tune into about three or four different church services from different um different ones <laughs> We're with the Salvation Army, but um, there's a lot of other ones that I I just tune into as well because I feel there's so many that have something, you know, really good to say and I want to hear from all of them. And then um, Boxing Day is lunch at my mum's and then next year we'll be swapping and it'll be the other way around. So my mum will be Christmas Day and Matt's mum will be um, Boxing Day. So we regularly do that to make sure. And I had to use the pudding again because I didn't have anything else. So that's what I used. <laughs> and I'm putting in another box there. And this girl is from CCM Digitals. She's so cute. She's got a little planner and a little coffee cup, although I don't drink coffee. So I always say that it's a teacup or a hot chocolate. Um, so I've written down planning time there. It varies when I actually do planning time because sometimes I have planning time every single day of the week, you know what I'm saying? But um, I try and dedicate at least one day where I'm going to have at least some time where I can sit down and actually, you know, do something really good. But a lot of the time planning for me is also like a therapeutic thing um, and I use it to sort of help me calm down and settle so if I'm being driven crazy by whatever I might just go and sit down and do a bit of planning <laughs> I think that's why I don't know if you saw my planner um 2021 planner video there's a lot of different planners that I'm using there and some people might think that, you know that I won't use them but I actually do like I get through all of those um like a lot of those planners obviously this time around I'm planning on using a lot more just because I want to use up the out-of-date ones or the older ones um, and use them up so I'm planning on different ways to do that but if I don't use them all it doesn't matter I can just redate them again for the next year and I'm putting down another one of the bandit girls and this is about filling out my it says uniforms but I swear it's not it's actually fill out uni forms because it's the university <laughs> Because um, next year I'm going to be studying my um, Bachelor of Early um, Childhood and Primary. So, um, yeah, going into teaching, which will be exciting. I've got my, um, my Certificate of Early Childhood and my Diploma. So now I'm going to move on to the Bachelor so that I can teach in a primary school setting. Um, and just writing down here to film a plan with me video or a video of sorts. Just making sure that I'm still getting some videos filmed even over this Christmas period is the plan. If it doesn't happen, I'm not going to stress because it's Christmas. And I want to make sure that that, you know, for family is, is foremost. Um, so I did, after filming this, go back and change uniforms to university forms so it doesn't look like fill out uniforms. <laughs> Because that's totally what it looks like. <laughs> and then I've just put another box in there because um, I will be... Oh, yes, and the bin down the bottom because our Thursday nights is always bin. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be going out because that's Christmas Eve and then the next day is Christmas Day. But if it doesn't get emptied on the Thursday, it'll get emptied on the Saturday, I think they do. So I'm not too stressed. And then I'm putting some of these little cute guys down. Now, I don't have where I got them from. I do apologize. I This is just from my um, stash of ones that I've had for a long time. So I'm not sure where they're from whatsoever. But um, if you just type in cute cleaning ones or something, you will find plenty. Um, sorry about that. But they're the only ones that I can't remember. I just could not find where I got them from at all. <laughs> um, but that's just cleaning up after the mess of Christmas. Mess and fun. And then Sunday I am going to have a bath. I love my baths. 
love, 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 love them. We are on 10 quarter though, so I do try and limit how many baths I have, but sometimes you just need one. And I'm, I'm just, no, I'm going to need one after this crazy, crazy Christmas time. Um, so I always have a bath bomb from Lush or one that I've made myself or from somewhere because I'm in love with bath bombs. So I'm writing that down because I'm going to have that. And then filling out this final space, I'm putting down a box and then I'm searching for my sticker that I cannot find, um, but then I end up finding it. And it's from Happy Downloads and it's this cute little cat that looks similar to Nikki, one of our cats. See, look, I go right past it. There's the cat. No, you've gone past it <laughs> because I'm blind, but that's okay. So I go back up and grab it in a minute and put that in there. And that's just to remind me to fill up the cat's water because um, it'll be getting down by the, that time of the week and just to clean out and restock their um, cat litter so it's all good to go. That's something that with the two of them it always needs to be done at least weekly, sometimes even more depending on how they're going and what food they had for dinner. <laughs> And then I'm just going back to write some things over on the side that I missed, which is the next week on the top of um, my next week box. Um, and I'll write in there a couple of things. Obviously, it is New Year's Eve and New Year's Day coming up next Thursday, Friday. I thought that was cool that Christmas Eve and Christmas Day were on Thursday, Friday. And then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day were on Thursday, Friday. I thought that was really cool. And then I'm writing down the tracking boxes that I'm tracking my iron, trying to get that up so I don't have to have iron infusions because I've already been told that I have to, but I'm trying to do it as best that I can. And he's let me have a couple of months to try. And if it works, then yay. If it doesn't, then I have to go and get the infusions. So I don't really want that if I can help it. And then I'm just skimming through to make sure there were some stickers that I didn't use, but I just sort of put across the ones um, that I thought I might want to use um, but I wasn't 100% sure so then I shoved that out the way and yeah so this is my spread I hope you liked it um, I do show you quickly through so this is generally how I do it I have a section where I have my today boxes my full boxes sometimes I scatter them sometimes I don't and then my bits and pieces up the top but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys and um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and everything. And I hope you'll come into the see us in the next video. I don't know what type of video it will be, whether it will be a paper one, a digital one, a haul or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I talked about things you're interested in. If you've got any questions you'd like me to answer in the next one, then definitely comment those down below. If there's things you'd like to know, fly them at me and um, I'll hopefully I'll get to those and hopefully reply back. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, definitely please do so. Join this little crazy cracker family here. And if you wanted to see our family YouTube channel, that's Six Crazy Crackers, jump on over and have a look. And yeah, as it says, see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.